Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name's Tom J. Sherlock, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Amaru. And what this video is going to be about is it's going to give you a guide on how to play Amaru in Year 7, Season 1, in the Ranked Playlist. Um, and Amaru herself, um, she's quite a hit and miss um, operator all round. Um, probably usually more effective in a lower elo than a higher elo, just due to the sort of slower setting up on sites and the general unawareness of players and also when you play at a sort of a lower elo as opposed to sort of up in diamond and above um you won't really have many people five stacking um so the fact that an amaru is just yeeted into site and um, no one's going to be quick on those comms to give you that information about the amaru being in on site um however due to her pit rate being so low at a higher elo um, she can, in my opinion, be equally effective. Um, however, you'll only really find that she can be sort of effective for one attacking round because once you yeet yourself on into sight with that Amaru, um, sort of players are going to get wise to it and she's probably not going to be effective as you would expect. Um, but as I said, this video is going to give you my tips and tricks for playing Amaru in the A7 and um, the Demon Veil season. Um, so there's lots of juicy little tips and tricks throughout this video and if you enjoy this and you'd like to see more um, Please make sure to hit that subscribe button as I have just recently um, Decided to go full-time content creating for the next few months So there's gonna be plenty more of these videos for you guys to chow on down into So as you can see here, we're looking at the pick rate from year 6 season 4 for the attacking operators in Rainbow Six Siege and um, in the ranked playlist on PC and as you can see here Amaru's presence is one of the lowest um, and that's not very unsurprising if you ask me the win rate is also negative as well but hopefully with these tips and tricks um, and if people follow them we might see that presence sort of shoot up a little bit and also that win rate shoot up a little bit and um, but what we're gonna do now is just to give you a breakdown for the video is we're gonna look at Amaru's loadout and then we're gonna look at each individual ranked map in the ranked playlist and give you some juicy little spots to yeet yourself into site or around site and pick up some early frags. I would just like to state as well that being an Amaru main, you can have your wonderful moments like this. Oh! My Sherlock. And did you start learning how to hack? But you can also have your terrible moments like this. And I have to say, it's usually 50-50. Um, so it's sort of a hero play and a non-hero play, almost a villain play, if you will. Of how to Amaru 101. He's gonna get hit by a frost trap if they've got one. So what we do is we shoot that cam out, and then he's gonna say, "Oh, if I had a headset, I would have killed him." We get our flashes out to mask the noise, and then we yeet up and in. So it truly can go one way or the other. You're either going to be a massive burden on your team or you are going to be a hero. But hopefully with these spots that I show you, um, you'll be able to be a massive hero for your team. But we're going to head on over now and take a look at the loadout for Amaru that I use and what I think is most effective. So as you can see here, um, we have Amaru's loadout. Um, her primary is absolutely fantastic. The GAA1 has a 50 round mag. And when you're rushing on into sight, having that much ammo in reserve in your gun allows you to take multiple gunfights without having to reload and without having to slow down. So my 100%, my top pick for the primary for Amaru is the GAA1. I mean, you can maybe elect for the shotgun if you're just looking for a little bit of fun, but let's be completely honest, in Rainbow Six Siege, no one is really going to elect for a shotgun on attack unless you're using the boss G. Secondary, this is one which can be sort of switched out, whatever you're feeling. If you do somehow manage to go through those 50 rounds whilst you're rushing on into sight, the SMG-11, we know how fantastic it is. We know how high fire rate that SMG-11 is. Um, it's got one of the highest fire rates in the game. Um, so if you switch on over to that, you're going to have a handy secondary in tow. Um, the GON-6 is a really effective um, choice with Amaru. We know how effective the GON-6 can be allowing you to rush onto site or push quickly. Um, with Amaru especially, if you come up against a castle and you've already got yourself to site and you want to push through there, the GON-6 can be fantastic for that. 
and um, also for breaking open hatches as well and um, so it's entirely up to what you want to do and um, you need to sort of read the game read the operators that are being picked on the defense and also your map as well in regards to your gadgets the hard breach although it is a fantastic addition to her loadout with the sort of game style and the tips i'm trying to give you in this video i don't think we'll be using a hard breach whatsoever what we're going to be going for here is the stun grenade um, and if you remember that clip that i showed you probably about two minutes ago in the video what the stun grenades can be used to do is if you get to your entry window especially if you're heading up onto site if you toss those stun grenades up on the roof of the site it can mask the noise of your gara hook as you yeet yourself up into that window so what i'll usually do is i'll get to the window that i want to enter through i'll toss up a couple stun grenades to mask the noise and then you try and time it just as you go up through that window the stun grenades are going off which will cover the noise of you yeeting yourself up into the building or around site and give you that hopefully the split second advantage to um, just click on the heads of the people inside one fantastic thing about year seven season one of demon Vale is that with attacker repick if you do want to select Maru and then you find out that they've gone to a site which isn't one of the tips and tricks in this video and it doesn't really match up with one of the windows or hatches to yeet yourself into you can switch away from that Amaru in the prep phase and help out your team by being a little bit more su supportive with maybe a, a more all-round operator so that is a big plus this year so thank you Ubisoft for attack and refit so as you can see here, um, we're going through these maps alphabetically. The first map is going to be Bank. And one of my favorite rushes, especially when we're playing Bank, um, is when you're pushing the basement. A great way to push the basement is to come up to this window. As I mentioned previously, you toss your flashes. And when you usually yeet yourself up into that window, you'll usually catch a player maybe setting up late here on the top of blue, or catch a couple of players rotating through into kitchen or elsewhere and that's my first spot which i really highly recommend on bank um, if you really wish to you can continue your rush as you push down blue however those sort of um, alarms are probably going to give away your position but you might be able to catch a player or two off guard here we have our second spot on bank and most of these maps are either going to have one or two little tricks and tips spots for you to eat yourself up into um, and if you spawn out here at the jewelry front this will be when you're attacking the top floor bomb site you'll want to make your way over to this left hand side window which is indeed site window as mentioned previously toss your stun grenades up on the roof to mask your noise so toss those up as soon as you hear one go off you start eating and then you're already straight into sight you usually find a player maybe set up here maybe a few rotating through here and you'll usually always be able to get a freebie kill there that is providing you get into the window without being killed instantly and what we'll do now is we'll take a quick look at a real life example of me using this rush with Amaru. So as you can see, we've spawned out at the jewelry front and we're gonna look to yeet ourselves up into site window here. There go the stun grenades to mask the noise. And as you can see, if you do manage to get your entry into site unchallenged, you're usually gonna be able to pick up a couple of kills as you can see there. Unfortunately, we don't manage to pick up the ace, but a still hugely effective rush onto this top floor site on bank. So our next map we're gonna be going to is Chalet. Um, and once again on Chalet, I do have two really good, nice spots. Really good, nice spots. Good England, Tom. Um, two nice spots which you can utilize to get into that site quicker and catch your enemy off guard. So the first push here, we're going to be spawning over towards the helipad side of the map and this is going to be a rush if you're making your way down into the basement if they're defending the basement as long as you don't go up those stairs there you can get straight away into mud room and look at that you're only 15 seconds into the round and you're already in sight you'll usually catch a couple of players off guard here and also maybe a player rotating up blue once again with all these amaru rushes You've got to hope that the players aren't listening out for your sort of Gara hook there because there's no real place to mask that Gara hook. But as I mentioned, when you're coming up to that window, do not go up the steps or else you will not be able to yeet yourself in through that window. 
So here we have another push, and um, this is going to be when the defensive side is defending kitchen. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your way down into here, into the buying cellar, and this works really well. With Amaru, her main effectiveness is if your teammates cause a distraction. So if you're playing with other players, you all push your way in here, and when you're attacking the kitchen, you have your players walk, working over towards this west main entrance side, making a little bit of noise, causing a little bit of a distraction. Now enable you to go into wine cellar and then you can just yeet yourself up straight into this hatch and you'll usually catch a couple of players here who are looking to challenge over towards West Main as well um, and maybe catch a player napping in behind this dining room counter as well and that's going to be the second spot here on bank. So our third and final spot here on Chalet is going to be when you make your way up to this double window here. And this is one which you will need to mask the noise of your Gara hook for, especially if you're there defending the upstairs side. And I mean, it's a high risk, high reward one here. I tried this one a lot of times and I tried to get a clip in some unranked and ranked maps. And I usually only managed to get one or 2k before I was traded out. Um, but if you're going to be attacking the top floor, apart from maybe making your way into Solarium there, this is going to be the only real area that you can try and push the advantage on that top floor site as Amaru on Chalet. What we'll do right now is we'll take another look at a real life example in a ranked match of me playing Amaru on Chalet and using one of these spots. So as you can see here, we are pushing into Mudroom and making our way straight down the blue stairs to try and push the advantage here. One of our players gets taken out from a spawn peak, but that doesn't matter. We're going to storm our way into sight here as we've already pushed down into blue. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't shoot that Cade and we let him get away, but we're going to make our way through blue hallway as well. And like I said, a lot of the time you are going to catch a large number of these players napping. Um, and that is the advantage of Amaru. That was what, 20, 15 seconds into the round and we were already in the sight picking up kills and picking up frags and it's just such an effective way of attacking this basement and somewhere that players would never usually expect you to come so the next map is going to be clubhouse and um, this is only going to be one spot on clubhouse i'm afraid it's quite a hard map to use amaru effectively on um, but it's going to be when you're attacking cctv and cash and we'll show you an example and then we will show you an in-game example once more of me using this spot in ranked and unranked games. So the rush here on Clubhouse is going to be you're going to spawn over towards this construction side of the map. You can you need to be careful of maybe a spawn peak from this stairs window. But what I usually like to do is I'll set up a drone sort of in master bedroom and then I'll have one of my teammates watching it. If you're solo queuing, it's something you can watch yourself. But obviously in that sort of time period that you're transitioning over towards this main stairs window, a player may rotate through there. But if it's solo queue, it's the best you can do. And um, what I will do is sometimes I'll toss a stun up here. Usually I won't toss a stun just because it's so far away from sight that the sound of your Gara hook doesn't necessarily need to be masked. So I'll yeet myself up into these main stairs window and just charge my way on through bedroom. And then this is where I'll start to slow down, take it a little bit slower, and then you push your way into sight here. And that's usually, you can get there in about 20 seconds. And we know a site like um, CCTV and Clash has a lot of setup. You're usually going to have players set up here in rafters and it takes a lot of setup to get things ready. And if you're pushing on in through construction 20 seconds into the round, you're usually going to catch one or two players napping. And what we'll do now is we'll take a quick look at a real game example of me using this exact rush and we'll see how I get on. So as you can see here, we spawn over towards this construction side of the map zoom our way over towards these main stairs just checking for a couple of spawn peaks and um, i do toss one flash and um, just to mask the noise a little bit and we're straight up storming along through the bedroom and into construction and look at that that's 20 seconds into the round and we're already in construction here and for some reason no one's in cash whatsoever 
but we'll storm our way in here and look at that what did i say about a late setup on site you will catch players napping we're going to hear that player prone down to our left there's three kills in the round already and like i said the speed that you can get yourself up into site there can be also effective and you're usually going to pick up players as they look to rotate their way back to site when they realize that everything is going absolutely to shit for the want of a better word on site so the next map we're going to be looking at now is coastline as we know coastline can be utter chaos and what better way to add to that chaos than using a maru and on coastline today we're going to have two tips for you two spots which i usually use in ranked unranked um, and i just love using them coastline is such a chaotic map um, that i just feel it's brilliant to add more fuel to the fire with an amaru in the mix but we'll hop into the custom match show you the spots and then we'll show you another um, real life example of me using one of these spots so for this first spot you're going to want to spawn at the main entrance and this is going to be used when you're attacking hookah um, what I'll do is I'll sprint my way over here to the southern and um, east side of the map. I will usually look to toss up a foot stun or two up onto the roof and then yeet your way Wow, um, yeet your way straight up into this window and here you have two choices and um, you can either push your way over through luggage I personally prefer to make my way down um, hallway and VIP hallway and down 90 as you're usually going to catch players transitioning between site and towards um, blue stairs as well. So another way you can push that sort of similar angle is if you spawn at main entrance once more. You make your way over to this more north, um, northern east side of the map and what you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to go up onto this ledge here. You're going to want to stay below the ledge and then get yourself straight away into penthouse. Um, it's similar to the first Amaru Rush, you're probably maybe just a little bit more protected as you're not coming down 90 corridor and you're not being spotted by that default cam and you can usually catch a player or two napping as they're transitioning between sites. So our second um, Amaru Rush on this map here um, on coastline is going to be an Aqua Hatch Push. You do need to be careful of these spawn peaks here. Um, this is where the Gome 6 comes really really in handy. Um, as I mentioned at the start of the video, if you're wanting to break down barricades or hatches really quickly, the Gome 6 can add to the speed of your rush. So you can Gome 6 open up this and then make your way straight up into Aqua Hatch and you'll usually catch a player or two maybe set up behind this desk. If not, you can just swing on in and get them as a transitioning between site or rotating or setting up the rest of the site. And that really does get you within sight in about 15 to 20 seconds with the use of that Gone 6 as well. Um, and we'll take a quick look at an in-game example of me using this exact spot to catch a couple defending operators off guard. So as you can see here, we've spawned at the ruin side. We're conscious of the spawn peak, so we're going to be checking for that one. Um, then we're going to make our way in. Unfortunately, I didn't have the Gone 6 on, so I can open that one a bit quicker. But we're going to make our way straight up through Aqua Hatch. And there we go. I'm not entirely sure what that um, Rook's doing, but we get one as we push our way into sight. We pick up another. That's two kills already. Looking for the third. Going to catch the third as they're napping on Cool Vibe stairs. And we look for the final kill. Um, unfortunately, there's no one anywhere all over the place. And we do get taken down by the Jaeger. But there we have it. That round is over in about, what, 30 seconds? We pick up a 3k ourselves. Unfortunately, can't get the 4k. But that is just how effective Amaru can be at causing chaos and picking up a quick round win for your team. And those are my two spots on Coastline and we'll head on over to the next map now. So the next map we're going to be looking at now is Oregon. Probably one of the most played maps in the ranked playlist. Um, so it's always good to have a couple of spots in your pocket on this map. I'm going to show you three separate spots here on Oregon that you can utilise to try and rush on in and get yourself off Oregon and on to the next game because we know how boring it is playing Oregon again and again. But we'll load on into the game now and we'll show you the three spots, the three best Amaru spots on Oregon which you can utilize in your own gameplay. So our first push here is going to be when we're looking to attack the basement site here. Um, and if you look at the clock there, we've gone off the get-go. So what you're going to want to use is your Garahut to get you straight up into Big Tower. You charge on in, make your way down these back stairs here. And look at that, we're 20 seconds into the round. 
and you're already pushing down onto pillar and blue and you can hopefully pick up a couple of kills from this area i do have an irl clip irl uh, a clip of in-game of me using this spot and picking up a couple of kills um but yeah really quick really effective and a really fast way to get down into that basement site and we'll head on over now to show you the second spot here on oregon for the best amaru tricks and tricks rushes so once again you're going to want to spawn over on this construction side of the map um, once again this spot works quite well if you're working in a team and you get your teammates to make some noise over towards sort of main breach um, or sort of the bedroom side and for this push because it's on site i would really recommend this all the time if you're looking to push straight directly into site you do need to use these stun grenades to marsh your noise so you toss up your three you go on the first noise you hopefully don't blind yourself like I did that. And then you can push your way up and in and then look to pick up a couple of kills from these angles. I would usually recommend looking straight away left um, just because you're usually going to have this opened up as a rotate um, and then you'll be able to pick off the players as they look to spin around and look at what's happening over in kids' dorms. So our final spot here is once again going to be attacking the upstairs site of Kid Storms and Dorms Main. Um, this one works really well if you have that going six again, just for the um, extra extra speed that you can get your way in here. You're going to push through small tower here, um, make your way into dining hall, then into kitchen. Um, sometimes you'll find players will open this hatch, um, which isn't a bad thing. Um, once again. As I said, similar to the last one, when you're attacking the dorm site, it really does help. And this is actually quite a good Amaru spot later on in the round, um, especially if you have pressure coming from Breach, um, the game's wall Breach, or from Trophy. And then you can just get yourself straight up into site here, and then you're pretty much almost behind the enemy lines. As if you're attacking main Breach here, you're going to have a couple of players set up between these bunks here, and then players looking to rotate in and around Attic as your attacking team comes from Trophy and from this game's breach here but yeah those are the three spots here on um oregon we'll now let you have a gander at some of my clips using these spots in um uh, ranked and unranked scenarios and um, to see how effective they can be so as you can see we've pushed our way in through dining hall careful of any of these players coming up from white and we're getting set up to make our way through this kid's hatch here we're waiting for our teammate to make a little bit of noise. Um, the fuse charges are about to come in and cause some noise. But we pick up a nice easy frag onto the down clash as we look to clear out this attic area where we know a lot of defenders, defensive sided office raiders will be holding, especially late game as the game's wall gets opened up and trophy gets opened up. And at the moment it's a 4v2. We have only just picked up the down um, clash, but we make our way over to the dorms as we pick up another kill as well. Um, and as I mentioned, Going up later game in that kid's hatch, you can catch a couple of players napping. Um, not a hugely impressive clip, but it's more just to give you the concept of how it can look in a real game. So here we're seeing um, a basement hole coming out from the defensive side. And as mentioned earlier on, there's no point for a stun. We're just going to yeet ourselves straight into this big tower and storm on down tower stairs here. Um, and like I said, if you're already 20 seconds into sight, you're going to catch players napping, which is exactly what we've done for that castle there, as we look to push our way through sight from pillar onto the actual bomb site itself. And that is why it's so effective with Amaru, because players are late at setting up, then you can really, really push the advantage on that and pick up a number of kills. We're going to catch up the rotating Aruni. Unfortunately, we can't quite manage to flick onto the mute, but we do manage to get a 2k, which turns the tide on a heavily defender-sided map in favour of the attackers. So our final example here is attacking kids and dorms mains once again. As I said, you toss up those stuns to mask your noise. We do manage to catch two players napping as we quick pick up a quick, swift 2k. Almost get taken out by the grenade of our teammate there. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, we don't and we stay alive. But instantly, that rush and that push swings it in favour of us as we pick up the mute. And there we have it. We picked up three kills and we're only 45 seconds into the round. This is how effective Amaru can be, especially if you use some of these spots. You play off the audio with your stun grenades or your teammates causing a distraction via loud audio on the other side of the map, which turns the attention of the defenders in that direction. But those are my three tips for Oregon and we'll head on over to the next map now. 
So our next map is going to be Theme Park. I have to say for Amaru, it's probably one of the most exciting maps because there are so many windows that you can eat yourself on into. Um, on this map, I'm going to give you three examples of windows to eat yourself up into um, to try and catch the defenders off guard and pick up some nice, quick, easy frags in your games. So we'll go over into Theme Park now and I'll show you the three spots and then three um, in-game examples of me using these spots and picking up many frags from these positions. So our first spot here is going to be used um, by spawning by the main entrance and this is going to be when you're attacking um, initiation and meeting here. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to sprint your way over here Usually drop the bomb behind because you don't really want that in your toe if you're eating yourself in. You stand up the stuns to mask your noise as is so many times and then you're already in break and then you're already looking from bunk into sight and then usually you'll catch a couple of players transitioning here and um, if not you can just push on forward into waiting, check out initiation or you can check out office. Um, so a really nice simple push for Amari there. Um, common hot spots when you push in there you're usually going to catch players transitioning here so be aware of that one so our second spot here on theme park you're going to want to spawn over towards bumper cars here and this is going to be if you're attacking sort of bunk or daycare and um, you're going to want to yeet yourself up into this window here um, once you're in control you can push on through initiation and once again you'll usually catch players maybe rotating over towards this eastern side of the map as you push through initiation if not you're about 15, 20 seconds into the round and you're already pretty much on site there. Um, one thing I would say if you're gonna be yeeting yourself in through this window is when you yeet in, if you hold your D, um, D button, because you sort of spawn in instantly in line with this here and um, this control panel. So if you press D straight away, you can just sort of continue that momentum and charge your way over towards site. Our final spot here on theme park, you're going to want to spawn over towards those bumper cars once more. And this can really be used to attack either of the top floor sites. You're going to want to toss up your stun to mask your noise and then push on through into office showers here. Um, if they are holding up in office and initiation, you're probably not going to get away with it too much. You're probably going to get traded out pretty rapidly. Um, but it's probably more effective for if you're pushing once again um, into bunk and daycare here. And those are going to be the three spots on theme park. And now let's have a quick look at these in, an, uh, in a real game example. So this is going to be the main entrance push. Um, and we're going to make our way straight up into this window using our stuns to mask our noise of the Gara hook pushing through break room and as I mentioned in the earlier video you are going to usually catch a couple of these players rotating as they look to make their way sort of in and around site and get set up as well but straight away we get a lovely little 2k um, and I have to say this is probably one of the best games I've ever had in my life I think I went 16 and 1 in total in this game we do get taken out there our teammate gets taken out by that razor bloom as well um, but we do manage to pick up three kills already in a very, very short space of time. So now we're going to show you um, the office showers push. Once again, using these stuns to mask the noise. Time it so we yeet up on in when the Gara hook is masked by the sound of the stun grenades. I'm not entirely sure how this Valve didn't hear us here. I'm assuming she was maybe checking out our cams as we managed to pick up one. Pick up the fawn as we rotate out of office. Um, and I have to say, this was honestly one of the best games I've ever had. This was from the same game as the last clip as well. Um, so just going to reload here. But once again, we've got three kills already within this round. And we're only 50 seconds into the round. Not entirely sure how the Vigil hasn't seen me there as we pick up our fourth. And coming up there, yep, yeah, there it is. The ace for the round on the Amaru. Um, so a hugely effective spot. And it just catches players off guard so, so often. But we'll move on to the third and final example here on Theme Park. So this is going to be the control room push. As I mentioned, when you come in straight away, hold D so you don't get bumped into that control panel. And look at this, 20 seconds, and we're already almost onto site here. Um, just cautious of a couple of players maybe rotating. We do spot that frost map. Fortunately, we don't run into it. But there we go. What did I say about the late setup and the late movement from players in... Um, in the defensive half you can catch so many players off guard and we've already managed to pick up one we get maestro caught him napping on site as we look to push around into top arcade as well and um, we get the call out from our teammate that one of them is down so we're just gonna waltz on in pick up a nice easy 2k onto the down pulse and there's the smoke and there's another ace 
using um, one of those Amaru spots on theme park. So I hope you've enjoyed these examples. Um, I'd say I had a lot of fun playing Amaru on theme park. It's probably one of my most favorite maps to play Amaru on. Um, so yeah, those are the tips for theme park, but we'll now move on to the next map for you guys. So now we're going to be moving over to Villa, which is one of my favorite maps for Amaru as well. Um, I've got two spots here on Villa for you to have a look at. Um, one, I have got an ace um, in ranked, which was absolutely fantastic whilst listening to music and absolutely vibing. So I'm sure you're going to love that clip. Um, and then another one is um, sort of pushing into the kitchen site as well. So we'll have a look at these for you now, which you can hopefully use for yourself to get some aces as well. So our first spot here is going to be, well, for both these spots, you're going to want to spawn on the main road here. Don't forget as well, always leave that bomb behind because there's nothing worse than Amaru who yeets in and dies straight away. And for this one, we're going to be sort of be pushing the kitchen site and you're just going to make your way straight down these back main stairs. And then all of a sudden, bam, you're already in sight. What is that? 15, 20 seconds and you're already in sight. Once again, where Amaru shines in these situations is she catches sort of those lazy defenders off guard when they're slow on setting up on site they're messing around in sight and you can catch them absolutely napping and that is where amaru shines in my opinion she's also effective late game if you're coordinating with your team but if you're sort of playing solo queue or you just want to have a little bit of fun this is my recommendation you just get yourself into sight as quickly as possible but we'll head on over to take a look at the second spot here on villa which is probably one of my favorite spots for amaru so for the second spot here on villa you're going to want to spawn main entrance again unfortunately in the clip i have of me doing this in game we do not have me yeeting into the window but i promise i did especially for this one you're going to want to toss those stuns up stuns up time your entry and bam you're already in sight once again, 15, 20 seconds. You don't necessarily have to challenge this door either. You can make your way down, round and catch players sort of set up here, watching this push from the veranda as well. Um, and then make your way into sight this way round and you'll catch those defending operators off guard. Um, but those are my two top tips here on Villa. Hope you enjoyed them. Um, and I'll give you an in-game example of both of these spots now. So here we have the push coming in um, into um, astronomy here we're going to toss up those stuns just to mask our noise then charge our way down astronomy stairs straight onto site look at that we're 25 seconds into the round and we're already pushing on into site here that one my doesn't have a clue what's happening that cat cam might not have his headset on as we pick up our third kill in that round not entirely sure what that jaeger's doing either but that's 30 seconds into the round and we've already picked up a 4k that's how effective Amaru can be, especially when your defenders are maybe a little bit sleepy. So for this clip, we have just yeeted ourselves in, into that 90 window and we've rotated all our way down to the main stairs and we're going to look to push through offers here. I've moved myself down here um, just so you can see my reaction to this clip. Um, we're vibing, we're listening to music. Um, just to let you know, this is me live on Twitch. Um, we stream four days a week now on Twitch. Um, under Tom J Sherlock with Tom J Sherlock on Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch as well. So there's the 2K already. There's the 3K. We're vibing. We're having fun. This is what our streams are like. There's the 4K. We're absolutely juicing everyone up. Um, desperate for the ace as well, asking where she is. <laughs> um, but here we go, ladies and gents. This just shows you how effective. This just shows you how effective um, Amaru can be, especially if you just push the advantage and get straight away onto the site and you catch those defenders napping. <laughs> so now we're gonna show you Border. Unfortunately on Border, I only have one spot and you probably all already know it. Um, I've had many and many a fail from this position because it is such a high risk spot. Um, but we're going to show it to you anyway, um, and then I'll show you a clip of me getting an ace um, from this position as well. Um, so let's load on into border, and I'll show you the spot, even though I think you guys probably are going to know it. So for the Amaru rush on border, you're going to want to spawn at this west vehicle entrance. Don't forget, always leave that bomb behind if you do have it in hand. Um, you can shoot out this cam as well if you so wish. Um, and then this can sort of be used quite well, especially if your teammates make noise over towards the other side of... The map. <coughs> Bless me, Jesus. I do have COVID at the moment, so it's a big rip. 
And then you're going to toss your stun grenades up on the roof. And then as that second one goes off, you eat yourself one into window and then you can shoot straight away over towards half wall that's where i would recommend um if you don't want to look over towards half wall straight away you can eat in and then you can use this cover of this armory lockers to shoot over towards this other bomb site and then swing out and pre-fire over towards half wall or if you can get a mirror or a bandit or a cage set up here and um, but we'll switch on over to the um, in-game example in a ranked match and me getting an ace from that exact position on order so to give you a little bit of context here um we have just yeeted in into sight and this is us headshotting cade but behind half wall here you got this. No. so you managed to pick up the cade apologies this was when my stream wasn't hugely it optimized so it's a little bit jibby a little bit laggy we do pick up another headshot well, there's another headshot and we're popping off a little bit doing our job and getting rid of some of the defensive utility as well um, but yeah, it's also effective if you do get into that window, you are usually going to instantly meet opposition because you have just gone straight into sight as well. Look at the concentration in that face. This was back when I used to have a green screen as well. And if you look at that headset in that bottom corner as well, you can see that it used to be green. But because of the green screen I was using, I had to paint it black to cover up um, or else it just made my ears look invisible. Hey, let's go! Um, Ace, let's go, baby. And that's an example of how you can push the advantage. You're yeeting yourself up into that window, especially if you use the stuns to mask your noise. And that's going to be it for Border, ladies and gents. So there we have it, guys. That is my top tips and tricks for Amaru in year seven. Um, I haven't gone through every single map. Um, I'm in trying to get some clips to, as examples to show you guys. I did get some insane, insane 4Ks and Aces um, over on Favela. But Favela and Skyscraper, I feel like they're maps which you're rarely ever going to play. Um, and it's a bit of potluck. There's so many windows that you can eat into. It's something which I feel like you guys can make up yourself. Um, but that's going to be the end of the video, ladies and gents. Um, I do stream on Twitch um, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, then either a Saturday or Sunday. Um, I have just recently quit my um, full time job and we're going to be giving um, content creating a pump for about one or two months full time, ladies and gents. So expect to see this. Well, it's up to you. Wonderful or not so wonderful face. A lot more on Twitch, on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, it's Tom J Sherlock, as you can see up here on all socials and um, if you enjoyed the video please feel free to uh, um, drop a sub drop a like drop a comment and um, which spot are you looking forward to most using when you try out some of these amari spots as well um, and feel free to get in the discord as well we have about 600 of us in the discord now as well the 221b which as you can see here the 221b um but yes um get around it get amongst it don't be shy everyone's lovely in the um 221b um and i will hopefully see you all in the next video um, and have a lovely rest of your days evenings and afternoon um big love and ciao bye